Hi! Welcome to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're doing Claiming Jurisdiction Mission 5. We'll get Ghost and Smooth Operator. This is picked up as a matter of course by wrapping up mission number 4. Miller will give it to you uh, when you finish talking. Pretty straightforward. Head down to the Metro, make sure you've sold all your stuff before you go there. Uh, and travel to Ruzika Station. Hello, Ruzika Station. Uh, you'll meet Smiley. Uh, there's a chance to talk to him a little bit about stuff, but it's nothing very meaningful. He thinks that um, the evidence is being tampered with and wants you to grab it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, 500, getting things done just for traveling there. Whoop, whoop. Anyway, uh, there's a few things to see and do before we even get started. First up, um, if you double back this way, you'll see a door at the back end of the platform with a key code on it. Uh, you can hack this. Um, it's a pretty easy hack. Uh, you can hack the control nodes to get in. Um, and there's a breaker there which if you switch off it will allow you access to the uh, runs over the top 3998 for a Capex booth uh, store thing. It will allow you access to the runs over the top of the station up here. Um, there's also a vent there with some gas in it. Now we're going to head down there. I don't have rebreathing, but uh, if you're prepared to use a couple of stims and or painkillers, you should be absolutely fine. If you wander up here, there is a thing to smash there. Don't forget to use health as necessary. And then you want to turn to the left. Um, there. And there is the valve. Uh, I end up using a handful of painkillers here. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. All good in the hood. Uh, there's a corpse here with a code on it 0808 which we can use for a door later on. I think it's 0808 here. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so then uh, there's a way to jump up. Well, there isn't a way to jump up at the end as far as I can tell. Um, I tried carrying some stuff through here without much luck um, because you can't really get it through the vent. So I couldn't, I don't, if you could jump up there, that would be an amazingly quick way into the back of uh, the mission. Um, but yeah, like I said, I couldn't see an obvious way to do it. So with that done, uh, you want to head up onto the top here. Now you've switched off the electricity. See, there's the room, the back room in here. And head all the way down here and then look to the right and you'll see a little uh, crawly hole there, which takes us through into the security room. Now, uh, there's no one in here. There's a guard the other side of that door, but he won't come in. There's some lockers and a weapons crate, but most importantly, the security terminal. I don't know where I got the code Della Rocca. Honestly, couldn't tell. You must have picked it up off a pocket secretary at some point. Um, but I don't recall getting it in here. That 10mm pistol, if you don't already have one, is going to be quite useful because we're going to need it. Along with some EMP rounds, which we absolutely pick up along the way, uh, to take down an exosuit skeleton. Um, I think I mentioned Ghost and Smooth Operator, right? Anyway, uh, I don't want to open that door yet. Don't forget to grab that case as well. Uh, because there is a computer to hack on the other side, and if we open it, we won't be able to. So just, it's all about maximizing experience. Anyway, back through here, and you head up this way. You can talk to that guy. He'll just tell you to back off. Uh, if you go to the left here, um, you'll find a bathroom um, without much in it. Uh, over the other side is a door that you can hack. No one will see you do that. And if you go in here, you'll find the NSN keycard. Uh, do I mean the NSN? No, that's the neural thingy network, isn't it? I mean uh, the Ruzika station keycard, which will prove a little bit useful later. There's the keycard right there on top of the vacuum. Um, so don't miss that. Uh, there's another way in here, I think. Uh, there's some crafting equipment behind there as well. See that vent up there behind that movable crate? Um, but we're actually going to go through that vent and come out the other side. Um, but however you decide to do it, if you don't want to hack that door or can't hack that door, you can go in that way. Now here I ended up buying double takedown um, because it seemed like the perfect opportunity to use it, although I didn't get awarded any experience for it. Presumably that was just a glitch in the way that sometimes it does glitch. Uh, and I couldn't get close enough to these guys to use um, double takedown without using uh, ghost. Um, but there we are, double takedown, no experience, lucky me. Uh, there's a pocket secretary on there with a code. Uh, Antares is the computer password for the uh, station office. And then I just dump these bodies in the grate here. Uh, you don't actually need to bother. It's absolutely fine. Um, 
but I was just being hyper cautious because I didn't really know what to expect at this point. Now back downstairs uh, we're going to explore before we go into the main room. There's another pocket secretary just there, uh, there kind of half under there, which suggests that the uh, password is Antares, but doesn't actually explicitly add it as a code. Um, but if you read some pocket ca secretaries carefully, it, there will actually be the codes for things. Like there's a uh, wedding photo with May 2020 on the back of it, which is the code for the computer in that room. Anyway, I've just found something to throw, made some noise. One of the police cards comes up. Uh, I think I end up taking the body into the vent just to be safe. Um, yeah, there we go. It took far too long doing that. But anyway, you get the idea. Hurrah! Uh, then basically pick that thing up again. No, I don't actually. That's a lie. Uh, now there's just two of them. There's one facing away. Well, they're both facing away. So I can just sneak up behind this one, club him in the back of the head. There, like that. Um, and then while my uh, bio cell juice is recharging, just sort of, uh, you know, here we go, wander over and clomp. Get him in the back of the head too. Uh, as I said, you can go and talk to him at the beginning if you want. I thought there might be an option to squeeze some uh, spin doctory stuff out of him, but there isn't. Uh, and then I end up putting the bodies in the corpses again because I'm just not sure how these guys will patrol at this point. This is literally my first run through here, um, but it went pretty well, so I've used this footage for the video. Um, but obviously sped up the bits where I'm just lining up bodies and vents. <laughs> now, down here, uh, you have got on the left, um, you can use the key card to get in there, and the uh, 0808 there, which we got off the body in uh, the vent where the gas was. Uh, in here, this computer, the password will be Antares. Um, I have a force of habit of always flicking the glass shut. Um, Electro glass, there's Antares. Uh, but I ended up um, hacking it anyway. I don't know why. Uh, and that suggests that lost key card, the first message tells you where the uh, key card will be, which is in the washrooms, kind of. Um, it's in the locked room opposite. But again, computers tend to have pretty good clues on them as to the locations of things if you take time to read the emails. Uh, now through here, we've got the key card already, so we're in good shape. You can just bloop that. Uh, now there's one guard down here. This was the one that was patrolling outside the security room that we were in earlier. Um, there's also... Uh, a young felony lad at the end, but he's just a regular sieve uh, tinkering around in the server room. But we're going to go and pop both of those guys because there's some useful experience to be had and some secret passages on the way and a couple of keypads to hack as well. There's the security uh, station there. But if you come all the way up here, there we are, and then just wait around here. I was tempted to go up to the door, but then I saw the other guy and I was like, noob, he's going to hear. And then just wait there. He'll walk past you and you can club him down. Um, and then I just ran up here. This guy seems to be taking his time, just chilling in there. So, kaklonk on the back of the head. There we are. Nothing to loot. Popping that over there. Bringing the other corpse as well. Um, just in case. Again, it's one of those things where... Uh, there's a code on his body as well, a pocket secretary. Um, just one of those things that because I don't know who might arrive or not, uh, I just play it safe. Anyway, a couple of pieces of software in there, so don't miss those. There's one there as well on the side. All right, we're done with them, so now just one more door to hack. Uh, this one into the security room where we've already been, 8066, that we got off the uh, computer earlier, maybe? I forget exactly. Um, anyway, there we are, a data scan. Woo -woo. And then in here, and we've picked this part up place apart already completely so not much to see or do now there's one vent here uh, which leads back into uh, the ticket office there so that's another way to get around if you can't find the key card and then there's this punchy thing here um, so if you've got super strength you can break out here uh, this vent leads to a few different places actually um, and I don't do a brilliant job of exploring it I'm afraid uh, I actually did on um, towards the end after I'd ooh, excuse me, uh, yawning after I'd cleared everyone out um, I spent a bit more time exploring but I figured rather than make you watch 20 minutes of re me running around with vision on looking for things um, yeah, basically if you go to the left there it takes you through to a slightly different area, you can see on the map where it drops you out in fact um, right by a guardsman, anyway uh, in here, uh, don't forget to move these, um, there's some crafting equipment behind it there we are. Uh, and some more crafting equipment in there. Feels all very Mad Max, doesn't it? I may have missed a something back there as well, I think. Um, maybe a hypno cell or whatever. It's, uh, you know, hypno cell. 
Um, <laughs> I'm talking nonsense. A sellable, you know, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, gyroscopic thing, one of those. Anyway, this is where we are. That's where we need to be. Uh, this is the stuff on the way. There's a whole bunch of policemen in here, and if you listen to them for long enough, they'll actually immediately spread up, which is good news, because you don't want to be in with them right now. Uh, having them wander around and do their thing. So I went up the other side just to see what was there. Um, although it took me a little bit of time. This is back where we fought the initial policeman and dragged all the bodies into the vents. Uh, and then over to the right, uh, there's a vent there. Um, so I kind of opened that up to make my way in. There we are. You can punch your way through there. And then at the other end as well... Um, at the other end as well, there is a drop into Dazzle's bookstore. Um, so it basically comes in underneath where we are at the moment. Um, anyway, there is an exosuit dude. Uh, we're going to use the pistol that we found in the security room along with some EMP uh, ammo that we're going to find right next to him. Um, where he is now, at least. Uh, it's very tempting. You'll see there I've cut ahead a little bit to use the breaker to uh, execute him. Um, but if you do... Uh, you will lose Ghost when you go to pick up the final thing, so you only get Smooth Operator. Um, so electrocuting him doesn't give you Ghost, which is super annoying because it would be such a sweet way to kill him. Um, anyway, back to where we were before. What you want to do is drop down here or go back down the vent and take the other route into Dazzle's bookshop. Let these guys finish talking and then get behind this white uh, thing with the globe on it. One guy will come and sit over here with his bottom on it turn around from you like this now there's another chap over to the left so don't be too trigger happy here uh, wait for the guy on the left in the distance to turn around you'll see him walking in a second there and once he's turned around you can pull this guy over the back now you've got to be careful with pulling them over the back of this stuff quite often their legs and things get caught in um, in the scenery which is super annoying sorry about that very loud motorbike but that's super annoying when they get stuck in scenery but there's a vent here that you can drag him into um, and you probably do want to do that since the guys on patrol v find it very easy to see corpses in my experience. Um, now, I came around here uh, and actually thought I'd blown it here. But um, at any point you can go and check, because the uh, checkpoint is so close. If you save after every kill that you do, um, you can go and check by just going and picking up the objective to see if you've still got Ghost. And what I hadn't realized, there's an ebook right there, we'll come back for that at the end, but uh, don't miss that. What I hadn't realized is actually they can go yellow and get suspicious from seeing you, which really surprised me, and you can still get Ghost. As long as they don't go red, you're absolutely fine. See, that one got caught in the uh, stuff there. Anyway, uh, this is where um, I've done a pretty poor edit, but I basically came over here to pick up the objective to see if I still had Ghost, and that's how I found out that I did. And then I'm stuck here over by the exosuit guy, and it's all a bit of a mess, really, but there is the objective. Um, if you want, you can just grab the objective, get your Ghost and Smooth Operator points up front, and then take your time picking apart everyone else. Um, that's also a perfectly valid way to do this. You'll get exactly the same experience for doing it. This is the top side of the gas room. Um, here, don't miss that case, and if you jump down there, you'll get back to where the corpse was with the 0808 code on it. Um, but we're going to go back into the objective room and then back out again. That's the objective there, DSD. Um, there's a ceiling panel that's unlocked, which you can go through as well to get out uh, this way. Um, and then I'm jumping back around to where the breaker is. There's the breaker, and dropping down here. Now, in fact, this guy very nearly sees me. Um, so what we've got is one policeman directly ahead with two scientists and then another policeman who spends his time wandering around left and right um, in the cafe. Uh, there's a weapons briefcase there. Uh, that's got the EMP uh, grenade in it, which you don't want to use. Uh, I dro dropped a shotgun because yeah, so that I can pick up all the other things. And it's also got some uh, 10 EMP rounds for the pistol. Um, so whether you want to use a well, I didn't. No, I say whether you want to use a grenade. I tried using a grenade a couple of times, and I couldn't make it go ghost. So I think a grenade will also not let you ghost the mission. Sadly, um, even if you leave the guy till last. Um, anyway, into the cafe. There's a structural wall you can break through here into a room with a uh, trank rifle and a bunch of other stuff. But we'll explore that at the end. But the um, structural wall is basically uh, structural weakness, rather is basically uh, where the guard was when we walked in, over in that corner of the room, not there. Um, yeah, so that's that guy down. Now we've got one more policeman and two scientists on this side of the wall, and then over the other side, one policeman, one scientist, and the exosuit dude. 
Um, so what I did here was mm, kind of make a massive mess of it. I tried to make some noise, but it didn't really work. I kept throwing that, hoping that he would actually come over and be suspicious. Um, I waited till he was super close, but he was having none of it, you can see. Naughty man. So in the end, I went all the way around here. Uh, and then back again. <laughs> uh, and eventually, we'll get there, don't worry. I uh, just waited there and then yanked him over the top of this. There we go. Um, now, you'll see uh, when I'm going this way and I toss the body, one of the scientists almost goes red, but thankfully only stays yellow. Uh, so that would have been a bit of a disaster. But, uh, yeah, just tossing the bodies out of line of sight there. At this point, I don't really care. There's only one scientist left on this side. Uh, there's a case we've just walked past there as well. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about looting all of the things around here. Um, but once you've killed everyone, just take your time to run around and explore everything. Uh, just setting up the pistol with EMP ammo for later on. We're not going to deal with the exoskeleton dude yet. And we're going to grab uh, some goodies from this case over here. Just a hypo stim, but uh, nonetheless. Now around here, uh, again, just a pretty straightforward call. There's a policeman there talking to a scientist who's kneeling down that you can't see. And you'll also see the exoskeleton dude come around in a second. As if by magic. Ta -da! There he is. Uh, so what I do is just have a bit of a look around. Given all the stuff that's lying around, I can't believe how long it took me to find something to throw. But there we go. There's something that I found. Throw it. Policeman comes over to investigate. There's the scientist standing up. Uh, whack the policeman out. Um, I took his body just a little bit out of the way. Um, so that there was no danger of the exoskeleton man seeing it. Uh, and then go back and repeat f with the scientist who's knelt down again um, there. He'll get suspicious and come over and there you go, club him out too. Civilians never have, or at least very rarely have anything on them as far as I can tell. One shot with the pistol will do the job here. Um, wait till he's looking away and then just boo boo. Ended up putting four in, he's stunned, run over, take down, gloop. So that's the way to do that. Um, in future missions, I will definitely be bringing a long uh, pistol and some EMP ammo just to save because, you know, you can't guarantee that they'll actually have everything in there. But anyway, the scientists and the policemen that we just took down are standing by a computer. That's all of the guys, by the way. You're now safe to run around and explore to your heart's content. In the room I mentioned earlier, there's an e-book um, right by where we uh, took down the first guy and over by uh, this crate. So we're well, not right by the first guy, but close to the first guy we took down. Um, don't miss that case either, which has uh, some crafting parts in it. Uh, there's a vent in the kind of tucked around behind uh, here, but it doesn't really lead anywhere useful. Um, you can follow it to a hole in the middle of the room, and then it goes all the way around to the other side, but it threatens to go near the uh, objective, but it never does. Here's the structural weakness in the cafe. Um, there's a couple of ways into this secret room. It's probably a bit loose, but it's marked on the map there. So if, uh, there's the structural weakness, and just to the right, um, you can jump up through this hole here. There's a bunch of ways to get up there um, from the other side. Just jump up and grab onto stuff. There's a couple of cases in there. There's a weapons crate. There's an, uh, another pistol, some hacking software. There's a Trank uh, gun in there with five ammo and a combat rifle around the back. Um, but that's about it. Uh, there's some lots of credit chips lying around. Um, there is, uh, yeah, lots of credit chips lying around all over the place. Um, some painkillers some other stuff but when you're ready come and grab the evidence you'll get 3150 plus 200 smooth operator plus 200 ghost to exit you can come out this way and drop down uh, into the gas room um, as we've done previously don't forget the case if you haven't already been there um, and then there we go uh, drop through this grate where we came through all the gas gosh it seems like a long way now and then into here and through um, and you can use this to travel home. Don't forget to go and sell everything. Um, obviously, that's absolutely key. And then into TF29 uh, and just follow the marker. He's on the ground floor to go and see Smiley. Smiler? Smiley? Whatever his name is. Uh, and um, Smiley Fletcher. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing here. Just please ignore me. Checking for ebooks. Um, take it easy. Take it easy. He's like, uh, I think there'll be something. Maybe. Probably. Maybe. Um, yeah, anyway, when you get in here, it will also, as you're on the lift going down, give you the next mission. 
um, you have to go and see the psychiatrist and then go and see Alex uh, who is there on the right uh, I can't remember the name of that mission but that's what it is then we're going to fly to Gollum City on the left of previous mission checking out TF29 but uh, that's it for now I will see you in the next video as always I welcome your comments I love you dearly bye